Welcome back everyone to video number 24 in the Superstar SEO 30 video challenge. I had to take a few weeks off. I got sick with laryngitis and I couldn't really talk properly. I sounded like I was ready to make everyone an offer they couldn't refuse. And then I got busy with the holidays, so we fell behind. So I'm very sorry about that. But we're back and we're going to get started right here in just a minute. Today we're going to be talking about the eight different ways that I make money online. Now there's going to be a lesson to this. It's not just me bragging about the different things that I do and how I make money and that sort of thing. There is going to be a point to this, but first I want to walk you through all of them. So without the Further ado, let's jump right in. So you want to be a rock superstar and live large, big house, five cars, you in charge. Method number one that I make income from is client consulting, mostly SEO, but also I do some PPC, Facebook ads, social media management, and that sort of thing. This means that getting a, a local business or a national business and signing them as your client to help increase their ranking or get more traffic or whatever whatever it is that particular service. This is the, it's not my biggest earner anymore, but it is how I pay myself. So it's probably the easiest one to start making money with and it's probably the most important one to at least have a solid foundation with. So client consulting, SEO, Facebook, PPC, what have you, whatever it is that you're into, that's number one. That's the way that I pay my personal bills. Number two is affiliate sites. I have, well, I have numerous affiliate sites, and this is one I've shown before, so I'm not afraid to show it here again. But this is a way I make some nice side income. It's somewhat passive. And I rarely, once I get them ranking and converting, I don't have to touch them that much. Maybe occasionally build some more links just to keep it going, add some more content on the ones that are bigger authority sites. This is what I got into internet marketing originally to do. I don't do it as much anymore. But it still makes me a good amount of money, and it's still something I enjoy. I think it's a fun way to go about making a site and making it convert and all those sorts of things. So that's a great way. I know a lot of people that make a lot of money doing this, so don't discount this. It's definitely something you should learn how to do and put in your repertoire. So that's way number two, affiliate SEO sites. Way number three is similar but different, and that is affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate how affiliate marketing, at least the way I'm describing it differs from affiliate sites is that it's not necessarily done with a website. It's using email and social media and ads and just generally talking to people to drive them to affiliate offers that you could then make a commission off of, whether it's one time or recurring. If you can find recurring, that's obviously preferable. Uh, there, there are offers in literally every niche. There's a couple of other videos on this channel about it, so just go check those out. There's some other great channels out there that are dedicated directly to affiliate marketing as well. Uh, but these are some of my favorites, SERP.net, AppSumo, EasyBlog Networks, and Scope Leads. I'm in the internet marketing slash make money online industry, and those are all catered to that. But whatever you're into, weight loss, um, I, I don't know, other health things, I, there's just a million different offers out there, and this is another way to go about doing it. So you can run ads to them, although you got to be careful on the different uh, – terms of service that the different ones have. You can post about them on your social media. You can email works really well with these and there's other ways to go about it too. So that's way number three, affiliate marketing. Way number four is information products. This generally means courses where you learn how to do something, you record some videos about it and you put them in a membership site and you sell the membership site to people. This has been a great addition to my income this year. I do it mostly in the SEO space. You can see a few of my courses there. And this URL to give them that if you're interested. But I do have some in other niches. I'm not going to reveal that because then people will go after them. But it's a great way to do it. You just uh, put together something that you're passionate about. You make some videos about it and you sell it to people. Membership sites are a great way. Russell Brunson talks about that a lot. And it's been a great income source for me. And more importantly, it helps people. Like you're, If you're teaching in particular, it helps them with something that they need to in order to Whatever it is, so using my case and as an example, it's how they can grow an SEO business and an agency and do better with SEO. So to me, that's maybe it's not as important to some people, but to me, that's as equally as important as making money. So that's number five, information products. The next couple are going to be very similar, but I wanted to point that be as transparent as possible. This is number six. This is the Superstar SEO shop. This is where I sell individual services to other SEOs to help them rank their clients and get other things done for their clients. And I sell it right through my my agency site, superstarseo.com slash shop. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how much more to elaborate on that. It, it makes, 
it does okay for me. It's not as profitable as some other things on this list, but again, it helps people out and it provides a nice income and it allows me to grow my customer and client base so I can and then get up, work into other offers. All these things tie together a little bit. So that's another great source for me. And it's something that I added and I'm going to be making a point about this later in the video, but it's something I added as a backup for some other options that are out, that are going to be on this list as well. So that's number six, the Superstar SEO shop at superstarseo.com slash sob. Number seven is Conquer. That's conquer.io. This is very similar to my uh, Superstar SEO shop. I sell a lot of services to other SEOs and other internet marketers to help them with their clients and their businesses and so on. It, uh, it's probably where most of you know me from. It, maybe not at this point. I'm not really sure. But it's been very profitable for me. It's had its issues, but it's a great site, and it's made me a lot of money. It's made me meet some really fantastic people. And it's a great way to, if you're into SEO and you need to make some extra money, like your clients aren't getting it done for you, or you just want to uh, do some different things, this is a great place to put up a service and just sell it for 5 or 10 or on up to a few hundred bucks, depending on what it is you do and what it is you have to offer and what it is you know how to do. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. It's conquer.io. So go check that out. And finally, number eight it has not quite released just yet. So, you know, I'll get a little teaser here for you, but that is legit. This is going to be a revolutionary new online digital market marketplace for people that are looking to sell digital services and things of that nature, whether it's SEO, whether it's internet marketing, graphic design, video creation, whatever it is, this is going to be the place to sell it. It's similar to some other ones out there, but it's going to really revolutionize the way that you both run your online freelance business or turn it into a full-time business <clears throat> or the way you buy things. You can rely on the platform and you won't be limited in what you can do and what you can say and so things like that. So this is going to be something I own. I'm not going to make a ton of money off of it because we're going to keep the percentage low for the time being to help people get get some sales, grow their business, and to help customers grow their business as well. So that's number eight. That's legit. That's going to be dropping soon. If you want to be notified when that releases, you can go to superstarseo.com slash legit, L-E-G-I-I-T. So what was the point of all of this? The main thing I wanted to, reason I wanted to share this with everybody is that you can't put all your eggs in one basket. That's kind of like having a job, right? Like if you have a job and that's your only source of income, and that's the case for a lot of people I know and just a lot of people out there, that that's dangerous, right? Like that one could shut off and all of a sudden you have no way to do it. And that turn makes you your one bad day be very simple. So in order to make that de bad day be worse, have to be worse for you to really affect your life, you want to add without spreading yourself too thin, you want to add as many income sources as possible. So the reason that it, that it occurred to me was there's one of these that has occasionally gone down on me and the money from it's gone away. So I've created other ones to replace that. That said, like the same, let's just use a specific example. So if all my clients fired me, I'd still have my affiliate sites and my courses and other things to fall back on. If Google had changed the algorithm and all my affiliate sites start, stop making money, I would be able to do, still do affiliate marketing with emails, social media, and so on. If my shop went down and Conquer went down, I would have legit to fall back on and vice versa. You can swap all of those in and out. And your courses, those are always those are an evergreen product that you can continue to update and continue to produce people on. The point of this is, is to not limit yourself to one thing because you never know what's going to happen. And especially, especially if it's a platform you don't own. So a lot of people want to talk about Facebook ads. Facebook ads are great, but they will shut your account down, your ads account down, and not tell you why, and for absolutely no logical reason whatsoever. The next one. Or, for example, in SEO, you could have, like I said, a bunch of affiliate sites that are making you a lot of money. Google decides to flip the switch, and suddenly you have nothing. And, you know, all your sites stop ranking and stop making money overnight. All your clients could decide to fire you. I mean, that seems unlikely if you're doing a good job, but you never know. My point is, don't put yourself, don't limit yourself, but don't overextend yourself. Do things that naturally build off of one another. So, for example, I collect customer information through Conquer, my store, and through Legit, and that helps me with my affiliate offers. I, With my affiliate offers, I collect some information, and then that helps me sell my courses. And then I, having my name out there and both on all of these, like the Conquerors and the Legits and Superstar SEO, helps me get SEO clients and so on. So 
have one thing that naturally leads into the other so you're not dependent on one particular income stream. This is one of the safest things you can do, and everybody knows how to do a lot of things. So that's the message I got for you today. If you like videos like this, do me a favor, click the subscribe button below this video, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified the minute a new video drops. I'm going to get back to doing this more often and being more regular with it. I'm really sorry that I missed out on that. I know that it's literally been crash the economy and no i'm just kidding but really i am going to get back on it if you want to make it easy to subscribe just go to superstarseo.tv and that's all i got for you thanks for watching i'm glad to be back and i'll see you again soon take care